The theme of this look today is a simple eye look with lashes. And I'm going to begin with, my lids are still a little bit red, so I'm going to begin with some eyeshadow primer. Since they're irritated, I'm going to use some Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and hopefully this will be gentle enough that it won't make my eyes worse. And I like that already. Looks better, doesn't it? Already. Then I'm going to take the House Laboratories. Oh dear. I'll put the name of I'll put the name of the product right here. I'm going to need a magnifying glass to see what this says. It comes in a container. I think it's a liquid eyeshadow. Oh dear. Looks like too much. And where I get it underneath, I'm going to wipe it off with this cloth. It's a very sparkly liquid eyeshadow. And then I'm going to fade it up onto my brow bone like that. Then I'm going to do an eyeliner. And... I began the way I usually do by putting a dot out to the side so I can see where I was going. And I'm going to bring it in and as I get further in, I'll bring it to the inside. And I'm going to use a flat brush and some makeup remover to clean up that outside edge instead of a I usually use a q-tip the makeup remover I'm using is this I guess I'll come back to this eye after I, sorry, I can't leave it alone. I think my eyes hate what I've put on them so far. They're swelling as I'm doing this. They look awful. Oh well, we're going to continue. I don't know what my, what my malfunction is. It sure does make it difficult to do makeup videos. I feel like throwing in the towel since my eyes are being so stupid. I got impatient with this eye. Oh dear. I actually like it better. The, the shorter wing. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Let's do brows. I haven't gotten my new brow pen yet from Kiko. I'm going to use the Focal Lure. Hey, let's use a, a brow powder. I'm going to be daring, and I'm going to use a, it's called Baby I'm a Star, and it is a, eyeshadow I'll show it to you in a second it's an eyeshadow in the artist palette the real old palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'll put the palette well I'll try to show it to you 
this is the color right here and it's got some sparkle on it and since I'm extra I like some sparkle I don't mind sparkle in my brows I, I wouldn't avoid it I have the one that uh, Kat Von D made that's called I don't remember what it's called I'll put it right here I, I anyway I have one she made a brow powder that sparkly on purpose I will do a swatch of this color on my hand so you can see if you want to use it you want to go through your shadows and see if you have a shadow that would make a pretty brow powder Now I'm going to put in the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. So I finished my book called Don't Tell. And I'm trying to finish my goal for today. It's one of my goals today is to finish The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. The book about Winston Churchill. I like that. Now, I'm going to put some lashes on. And I pulled these out. These are some Heather sent me. She she has a she loves lashes and sometimes she gets carried away so she shares them with me. And these are by Shani and here's the style number. And I'm going to yeah, I'm really pushing the envelope with the irritated eyelids, putting lashes on top top of everything. I guess she buys these from Am off Amazon. I don't know where she buys her. I think I'm going to take one lash and cut it in half because see there it's it's symmetric. It's longer in the center and shorter on the outsides. So I'm going to cut it in half and just use little half lashes. I'm using the Dark Duo. Let's bend it a little bit. Not that it's going to help on my, my roundy eyes. There we go. Set that one on. Worked out good. My eyes are swelling as we're doing this video. That's just great. A makeup artist that can't wear makeup. Can you see I'm swelling? Those are great. Can you see them? I love those. I have to order those again. Set 01-1. Okay, let's do the rest of the face. I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer first. This is what it looks like. Then I'm going to take this foundation. It's the Chanel foundation. I'm going to use my Wayne Goss 01 brush. This foundation is the Ultra Latent Velvet, Velvet Matte Finish. 
Wow, the color is perfect. I still haven't gotten the NARS foundation. The soft, soft matte. I watched a YouTube chick today that I trust, that I don't think's full of hooey, that said she liked it so much she went ahead and bought four colors for her makeup kit. For her, she's a makeup artist. So I trust her enough to go, to go get it, which I am gonna do. That's pretty. I don't know why I haven't been using it. Now let's do a blush. I'm gonna pull out a different one. I'm gonna use, first of all, I'm gonna bronze and I'm gonna use Bronze Goddess. And the color is light. And I'm truly bronzing. I'm not contouring. It's going on the surfaces that the sun would brown. I'm letting the lashes dry and then I'm going to put mascara on. Now I'm going to take the color Sweet Pea. By, it's a convertible color from Stila. I got a lot on there. Evidently, the cream blush I used last was more sheer, which was probably the Patrick Ta. So I, I got a little carried away. So I'm putting it on my brow bone like that. I know, it looks good. Put a little bit right there. And a little bit right there. I think you can use these on your lips too. It's dual lip and cheek. While the camera was cooling, I used the blush that's on this brush because I went in hard. It's a, it's called convertible, so it's lip and cheek from Stila. I put that on my lips too. And that, and then I took the Dark Star Mascara and I'm putting it mostly at the roots because I don't want, I want to leave the tips of these lashes wispy. Now I'm going to do under eye concealer. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I had a question about concealer. Did I like the Charlotte Tilbury, the um, NARS Radiant, or the Tarte? What is it called? Shape Tape. The best. And I don't use the Tarte Shape Tape because I find it too for myself. I don't because it's too drying. I had a friend that I did makeup on or an acquaintance that I did makeup on and she really loved the sharp, the sharp, the tart shape tape. So I just went ahead and gave it to her. So I don't have any in my collection. I wouldn't use it on myself. I think it's okay for, you know, oily young skin. My favorite for me is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, let's see. I need a tight line liner. I think my Tom Ford one is in my kit. So I'm using Makeup Forever. 
M10. Put that on my tight line. Like that. I need a lip liner. I'm going to use, I'm gonna go get a lip liner out of my kit. This one's Cappuccino by Milani, I believe. Rimmel. Milani, Rimmel, whichever. And then I just rub it all in. Like that. And I'm gonna take the, I believe this is the Patrick Ta, it is. She's an influencer. His lip glosses are really nice. They're peppermint like peppermint candy. I want to highlight my cheekbones. I'm gonna get a different highlight. This one is Becca Opal. I know, I keep pulling different stuff out. I'm gonna use the smaller high cheekbone highlight brush from Sigma. I think it's an FO3, it is. I think I got that too far towards the front. Put it on the tip of my nose. I want it on my brow bone. Now I want to bring down, oh, I'm gonna use the La Mer underneath my eyes. I don't know what happened here. I want something underneath my eyes. I do not like to leave the underneath of my eyes clean. I'm going to use the Urban Decay LSD. Yes. Love that pencil. Then I'm gonna take a, a Q-tip. And I'm going to, it, this has a little bit of sparkle in it and when you buff it, the sparkle shows up more. That was a cool truck. It was like a 1940s, 40s or 50s truck. You know where the cab part is kind of roundy? I don't know what year that is. It might not be that old. Maybe it was 50s. All right, there, the, like I said, the theme of this look was a simple eye. I did, the only eyeshadow I used was this, was this by House Laboratory. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's called Glam Attack Aphrodite, or Aphrodite. I'm Aphrodite. <laughs> I will link it down below. So that is the only color, well, shadow I used on my lids. I used the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind to cover up the, the red. I used a little bit of the convertible blush in Sweet Pea on my brow bone. And then the highlight I also have above that. 
and the LSD liner underneath and the Makeup Forever black pencil on the tie line. I guess it's not a simple look, is it? But I didn't use any powder shadows. I think I want, I'm going to use the Bite powder and my Hakahodo brush. I think that There you go. I had fun making this look for you. I hope you enjoyed it too. When you do a really simple eye look and you only use one product on your lid lid, what do you use? When you do a really simple eye look and you only use one product on your lid lid, what do you use? Leave it in the comments. Also, let me know what you're reading right now. What is your favorite fall candle? And what you're watching, what, if you're watching a TV series, let me know which TV series you're watching. And I'll see y'all again tomorrow night. Ta-ta.